my lovely Libras, welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, Signs, and Venus. This is for the second week in January 2023. And loves, I do record this reading in the full moon in Cancerian, which is a very strong upbeating energy. What I heard right before this reading was, is choose you, move forward into the path you've been calling and don't even doubt that a path is not one of those who you are, don't want to. And a big picture here, there's a Libra who need to trust the universe and the movement forward. So let's see loves where we are and where we're going and how this week is for all of you. General energy, as always, take what mostly connects, resonates and speaks to you and leave what doesn't as well. If you really enjoyed this readings or other readings on the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe, like, share it and leave your feedback. Knight of Swords. Woo! What's going on, loves? Fool and King of Pentacles and the Chariot. Yes, there's a lot of movement and quite fast movement, loves. It seems here that something you feel like now is the time. And let's go. There's a lot of movement. Fool takes the leap. Chariot is moving. So... And I've seen here your the Wheel of Fortune movement. And yes, it is fa it's quite fast. For some of you, there is a connection you are sharing with someone and moves quite fast. Or you are trying to move it fast. For others of you, there is a job situation here. For some of you, you are required to move somewhere. So if you are transferred from a position to another, I feel here there's a requirement of move. It's a physical move. But definitely I feel here there's some some kind of distance to, to go uh, forward. There's uh, some back and forth energy as well. I see for some of you, if you are meeting someone new, there is a trip out there. It's by car or something like that. But there's something here like, oh, I want to see you. I want to do this. Let's see. Let's see. Four of Cups. Five, seven of Wands. Ten of Wands. And Nine of Swords. So look at this, loves. For some of you, definitely here, there is someone into your life to go after. For others of you, there's an energy here that really feels that we need to clear it out or you need to clear it out for yourself. But I feel here there's a lot more out there. There's also a thing here about what can be, what is there. Should we go forward? Will be this way? So somebody definitely make all these scenarios of could this work? Could this not work? Am I willing to do this or not? Or so? But the the fool is kind of like why you just not just try with no expectations? Because something here like too many questions lead to certain things that probably you don't want to hear it. So let's see here, the Four of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Four of Swords, and Strength. So it seems here for many of you Libras, you do know this person. And there is some kind of history. But is you want to take a leap of faith or this person take a leap of faith? For some of you, it's, it's like after a long time, someone 
want to make a decision or want to go forward. You might deal here with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn person. The Seven of Wands, Six of Pentacles. You try to stand your ground. They telling you certain things, but probably might not follow because there is a lot of resistance. Or you just feel like that's not going to go through. The Ten of Wands, here is the wheel I've seen right before your reading. You just kind of like either done or either we moving forward because you just want something new. Two of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So somebody here definitely is, is binded with someone or still in some sort of connection with someone. The Nine of Swords, Sun, it's like, I think too much of that new beginning or if everything could be so easy. Somebody might give you that word, if things will be so easy as you say it or how you say it. Two of Swords, but somebody here definitely can see a new beginning. Six of Cups. Queen of Wands and Justice. So look at this. Strength, High Priestess, the Priest, because this is the higher fan, and the Justice. So many, many of you, Libra, you've been dealing with this person even in another past life. And the connection is very, very strong. And it's a karmic connection. They, this person might be with their life partner. But you are a past life partner. But they are still like, okay, let's move forward. On and off, let me think a little bit more. And they, they definitely could know you for a very long time or you both of you know since you were young or something so the connection it's it's a very long time but but i feel here now it's just kind of you are kind of trying to set the bats here should i continue or should i not do they ever will see the new beginning or not? For some of you, you are, you know, this person could have something with the mother of the kids or you could be a mother of a kid of this person or something like that. This person married and then now, but they do love you or do they care very much for you? So it feels complicated, but it's not that complicated because this person takes too much time about whatever they really want or who they really want. Another energy here for you, Libra, comes that somebody here had a mother figure and they need to, to mend certain things here from their past. Because somebody here is just kind of like, don't go up there. But I feel here the problem is how we resolve it, not how we block it. Let's see. One more message. One message from this person for you. 
they do want you. And I feel here that's that's quite a, an attraction there. For some of you, you, you could be in intimate with this person more than once. How about you, loves? Knight of Wands, Five of Cups, Chariot, and Magician. You just want to either go, either not. Because it's more likely you are single. And definitely something here holds certain energies here, past-wise. That you, you do love this person. You do want to move forward. And you are determined to move forward. Because it's your choice. But for some reason, something here feels like, you know, I don't want to feel like they they use me just, use me or something like that. So this, this is something really, really close to your heart, Libra. It's very, very close to your heart. The advice from the oracles, we have solitude and voyage of the heart, love flows through you and to you. And I will pick two more cards here. So I feel here for some of you, for many of you, there is a leap between you and this person. For others of you, there is a closure moment coming in with this person. But this closure might not be face to face might be over the phone. So for some of you, you might take a leap of faith because this person tells you so. For others of you, definitely here, there is, a, there is an ending. But also I see some physical distance between you two. It's not emotional, I want you to understand loves because many, many times people say, oh, I'm not with this person. Yes, you might not be, but the energy, it's still connected. So that's why we have the solitude. You do love this person. They still want you. But I feel here this person might not take the the, the steps they, they want to. So the solitude energy... In silence, you will find a deep self-awareness as well as inner peace. There's not a time to venture forth in a new project or a new cycle. This is a time to step back and be still. In quietude, you can seek and uncover your deepest inner truth. Seek solitude and all will be revealed. No matter what is happening around you, find serenity. Your power is born in stillness. Sometimes the traveler is in such a hurry to reach the new and next peak that he goes separated from his spiritual source. However, when the traveler takes time alone, everything falls into perspective. Take time out of your day to be completely quiet. Take deep, slow breath, imagine inhaling vitality and exhaling all that is not needed. Affirm that all is well. Move past the character and chaos on the road of life. Be still and hear the voices of your higher self and your spirit guides. So here we are, Libra. There's something here you need to listen to your soul. And know that sometimes we want certain things, but if the universe doesn't bring these people or doesn't give us these people, there is a full reason. And that reason is more likely, many, many times, is because protection. Love and light loves, I thank you so much for coming in. And if you really enjoy these readings, 
you definitely know what to do. Namaste.